And hello YouTube, GSMAM Smart here, and in today's video we're going to show you how you can create drop-down lists in Excel, how you can change things in drop-down lists dynamically, and some tips on using drop-down lists as well. All come up next. What's up everybody, GS Man Smart here, today with another brand new video for Tutorials with GS, and thanks for stopping by, glad to have you here for another video. If you're new to the channel, new to my videos, I encourage you to subscribe, plenty of other Excel tutorials, plenty of other technology tutorials and software tutorials, we have tutorials on video editing, audio editing, image editing, and plenty of other Microsoft tutorials as well, including more on Excel. So if you're new to the channel and you're interested, go and hit that subscribe button as well as that post notification bell, so you can stay up to date with all the most recent videos. So here I have a list of some names, a job title, and an hourly rate. Now, one of the things that you can do, obviously, is you know you can constantly go back in your list here and change or copy and paste things. So if someone got demoted to uh, an associate, you can just copy and paste, right? Or if someone got promoted to a supervisor, you could copy and paste. All that's doable. Same with your hourly rates here. If you have a column that you're always updating with the same values, then you could copy and paste or you could just uh, type in your values here. However, what you can also do is create a list. And with a list, you can then start actually selecting your values, which makes it a lot quicker, a lot easier. And you can also update this list so you never have to change values anymore. All you have to do is select from a menu. So today I want to show you how you can actually do all that to make it a bit easier. So here I have a column of names of people. Here I have their job title and here I have their hourly rate on one sheet. In the second sheet here, I have a title for the job title and I have a matching hourly rate. If I wanted to create a list now, a drop down list for the job titles and for the hourly rates, I would do that by going to the cell that I want to create that list in. So for example, if I add someone new here, um, let's add Damien here. And if I wanted to actually give my job title or select the job title from a drop down list, I'd say, okay, here, I want to create a list. I go to my data tab up here. Here's my data tab. I go to data validation and the first option data validation. Then in the first tab here, I go down to list. And then here it tells me where's your source, where are your options going to come from? What I can do is click this little button here that allow me to select cells. Then I go to my second sheet. I select all of my titles. I click the button again. And there you go. I now have uh, the option selected. I can press OK. If I go back to my sheet here, now I have a drop down menu of this person. So if I'm going to make this person a manager, I can make this person a manager. Same with your hourly rate. I can go over here. Here are my hourly rates. So I'm going to go to my uh, hourly rate column here. Go back to data validation, data validation, go down to a list again click the little uh, button there, highlight all of my hourly rates, click the button again, press OK. And now I also have my hourly rates and I can select my hourly rates here. Now the cool thing is you can actually copy and paste these lists. So I can copy this list, paste it to all my other associates here. And you'll see that I can actually select uh, a value for all of these people here that are working. So very cool way to actually update your table or update a, a spreadsheet. And the same way, I can go ahead and copy and paste this here. So in case anyone gets promoted or demoted, I just have to select from a menu. But that's not it. There's actually something else you can do, which is really awesome also. Say, for example, you change an hourly rate. Say all of your associates are going to get paid $12. All of your supervisors are going to get paid $16. All of your managers are going to get paid an additional twenty, uh, additional $2 or $22. When you change your source cells, you can actually go back to your cells where you had the list. And would you look at that? The list is also updated here. So whatever updates you make in your source cells, you can also make uh, in your drop down menu here automatically gets made and then you can select that new value. So you can update lists, you can copy and paste lists, and you can create lists to make it easier to fill out data through a drop down menu 
rather than having to copy and paste. The other thing that's important is that you want to make sure you highlight your lists. Now, in this case, it wouldn't be, be really worth to do that because you know that this middle column is always going to have a list. You know that the hourly rate is always going to have a list. But say, for example, you're creating a quiz or you're creating something else that you want to upload to a website. Uh, such as a survey or you're up or you're uploading a form that has some options in a drop down menu, then you actually want to highlight uh, that list so you can be aware that hey, this is a list because just looking at it from this view, you can't tell what's a list. You have to actually click a cell and then you'll see the drop down menu here, the drop down arrow here. But without selecting a cell, you don't know which cell is actually a list. So what I like to do is actually highlight all of my lists in a shade or I would make them bold maybe, or underline them, or a different text color, or you can highlight them, like I said, that way from a glance, you can see, okay, this is a list here. Uh, the other thing you also wanna be aware about is that you can also create custom lists without having any source at all. So if you wanted to create a, uh, let's create a retired, uh, column here and you want a yes or no option here, you can actually just go up to data here, data validation again, data validation again, go to lists here. And if you don't want to put a source in, you can just type in yes, comma, no, press OK, and a list gets made for you with those options. You don't actually need to select a source of cells to create a list. You can write your own things in it very easily. So that's how you create lists in Excel. That's how you update lists in Excel. And that's how you can also identify lists and a few tips on that as well. Hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Any questions, comments, suggestions, things you're confused about. If you know of some better tricks and tips to make this even more efficient, leave them down in the comment section below. We're all here to learn. I encourage you to check the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Plenty of other tutorials on the channel regarding Excel and plenty of other software as well. And if you want to check out my most recent video, Video, click the annotation here. Want to check out a similar video to this one? Click the annotation here. Want to subscribe to my channel or my other channels? Click the annotation here. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can click the annotation here. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, this is GSM Smart. I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere.